the requirements for facilities that may be temporarily out of service. As you can see on this slide, this facility is in a little bit of trouble. They're missing a dispenser and will probably have to be out of service for a while while they complete any necessary repairs. Another scenario for temporarily out of service facilities might be that you bought a convenience store that also had underground storage tanks, but you don't plan on using them, selling gas, or using the tanks at all. These are just a couple of examples when a facility could put their underground storage tanks temporarily out of service. So while the TCQ allows you to put your tanks temporarily out of service, there are still requirements for these facilities. This includes updating your registration within 30 days of the change of status from active to temporarily out of service. It's important to keep vent lines open and functioning as well to allow the system to breathe. You must also maintain corrosion protection since you still have piping and tank components in the ground. And even though these tanks are temporarily out of service, you still have to maintain your operator training for A, B, and C operators and retrain every three years. Now, financial assurance is required in case there's a release to the environment. So you have to have financial assurance unless you prove two things. That the system is empty, which according to 30 Texas Administrative Code 334.54, there is a very specific de definition of empty, stating that all liquid has been removed from the system and shall not exceed 2.5 centimeters. The second requirement for removing your financial assurance is that you have conducted a site check in accordance with 30 Texas Administrative Code 334.74, which is basically checking whether there has been a release or not. Only when your facility meets these two requirements can you remove your financial assurance. What if you have your tank temporarily out of service, but it's not empty? Then, in addition to the requirements on the previous slide, you will also have other requirements because you have a regulated substance. These facilities need to maintain their annual self-certification and registration which is done with the TCQ form 0724, the registration form. Since you have a regulated substance in an underground storage tank, you also have to maintain 30 day release detection records and the annual release detection equipment testing, which is a new requirement. And since there's the potential for a release to the environment, any suspected releases should be reported to the remediation division. So, to verify that your temporarily out of service facility is compliant, make sure you have the records that are applicable to your facility. If you have an empty underground storage tank, then you need the records for tank and piping corrosion protection, operator training, empty documentation, and financial assurance. Remember that if you have an empty tank and proof of conducting a site check, then you should submit that information to the TCQ registration and reporting section for approval before removing your financial assurance. If your system is not empty, then you will need records to show corrosion protection, operator training, financial assurance, annual self-certification, the 30-day release detection records, annual release detection testing results, and any documentation of suspected releases. Ah, the last